Howdy y'all, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Before we get into today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications as we are on the pathway to 50k. Thank you so much for all the support, let's get into the video. Before we get into the next part though, that goes over all the spooky scorch stuff and the Halloween event, I would like to show credit to Nuka Knights and Duchess's Flame. Make sure to go check out both their websites and their channels as they have great information about this and they do data mine into future events. So always make sure to check out their uh, their website before any events drop. Now let's get into the guide and rewards. So for the Halloween event this year, they're going to be bringing back the Spooky Scorch along with a different set of challenges so you can get some very cool Halloween themed items. So it's going to work as it has in prior years. You're going to kill a Spooky Scorch. You are going to get a Halloween bag. Upon opening it, you will get candy and a rare plan or some blueprint. We'll go into the new rewards in a little bit. Um, once you get the candy, you are going to get a new candy bowl that will release with this event. You're going to put it inside of that newer candy bowl. Upon a player coming to your camp, they're going to grab the candy out of it. You will get a challenge update. They will get a challenge update for picking the candy out and you'll both progress your challenges. Um, you will also be going to other players' camps and trick-or-treating there and also picking up candy. And that's how this event really works to the root of it. Spooky Scorch can spawn at any location that Scorch normally do, as I already previously stated. They are very simple to find. Um, basically, as long as you're working around that, you can easily farm them. I highly recommend using a private server for this event, as a lot of the Spooky Scorch will be killed upon you going to that location. Um, another good event to do is basically any with the Scorch. Um, especially the Scorch Beast Queen event, you are going to find a lot over there. Um, for the newer rewards, though, you are going to get a jack-o'-lantern dress for completing the week one challenges. So these week one challenges basically go around the idea of you killing Spooky Scorch, you putting candy in the bowl, and you picking up candy from other players' bowls. Very simple and very easy to do. I would not be surprised if people complete this within like 10 minutes of the event dropping very simple event or challenges for the week two challenges you get the blood punch bowl i do not know if this is a resource generator or some sort of camp decor but nonetheless i really do like the design of it um but same thing you're going to either trick or treat you are going to kill spooky scorch and this is just for week two challenges if you complete both the week one and week two challenges you will get a mothman eyes wall light this is a very cool wall light I really do like the design of it, and I can definitely see some cultist themed camps using this as a part of their base design. Now, let's go look at the new rewards. So the new rewards uh, focus around the Jacko light, which is basically a container with the kind of like face drawn into it. But let's go look at the first one. The first one is Flatwiz Jacko light. I really do like the design of these ones. The second one is the Mothman Jacko Light. I really do like the design of this, especially because it's more of Mothman themed. Um, and I just like the Mothman more. Uh, for the following one is the Ghoul Jacko Light. Um, it definitely looks really scary. Man, it's got the Halloween vibe to it. Um, for the Steep Squatch Jacko Light, obviously it's just a Steep Squatch. It looks more like a Death Claw in my opinion, but nonetheless, still very cool. The T60 Jacko Light looks pretty cool. I do like the design of it. It kind of looks like a Stormtrooper from Star Wars, but nonetheless, really cool. The Candy Bowl for 2024, I really do like the design of it. It looks more um, Day of the Dead themed, but nonetheless, still extremely cool. There will also be Twitch drops happening during this time, so make sure that you do tune to the Fallout for Hope Twitch event in the Bethesda live stream. If not, and you're not able to tune in during those times, make sure to tune into any Fallout 76 streamer that has drops enabled during this event. Basically, it's going to go all the way till the end of um, this uh, October. So you'll be totally fine if you cannot attend those live streams as you'll still be able to pick them up later. These are still very cool rewards and I will definitely be grinding out this event. Um, there's definitely farming patterns that you do and everything like that. But at the end of the day, it's just fast travel to all these Scorch locations. If you need maps of it, I'm displaying one right here with all the locations names that have Scorch for them. There's tons of locations that are going to be really easy to find. And this is just a simple and fun grinding event. Most of these Scorch will also be legendary too. So you'll be able to um, still progress your legendary trees and be able to learn more mods so you can get yourself raid ready when the uh, update in December drops. 
Thank you guys so much for all the support. Let's get into the end and outro of this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really do like the rewards that are coming out with the Spooky Storch event. I do wish there was more stuff, but nonetheless, I'm very happy to still grind for this, and I do like new things always being added to it. Um, this event's also going to happen simultaneously along other events that are happening at the end of the month. Make sure to check out the community calendar or my own guide video that goes over everything happening this month. Thank you guys so much for all support. If you want to support me more, make sure to become a YouTube channel member as you get awesome VIP benefits. Thank you so much again, and I hope you have a good day.